Hey guys, it's Jared here with Lightshine 3D Services. Um, there's been a lot of talk about engraving photos um, on, on a laser, on an epilogue laser, or whatever laser you have. Um, and I used to be one of the guys that would say, look, you can do it all from Corel Draw, and I've got some good examples where I've done that. But in all of those cases, it took several minutes for me to, uh, like more than 15 minutes for me to process it. And, and then it was still kind of a guessing game on the settings that I needed to use. On my laser so um, I finally paid the money and got photograve and I wanted to just do a quick little video tutorial how this works because it seems that a lot of people either don't understand the benefits of using the software or um, they they just don't know how to use the software itself so it, it doesn't look all that user friendly but it, it, it pretty much is at least in the newest version of it um, you pretty much start from from left to right here um, so you start by opening the image, and in this case, I'm going to use an image that a uh, that someone on the epilogue page posted a little bit ago of this dog. And then the next thing that you do, you want to choose the material that you're using. In this case, they wanted maple. They're going to put it on an old cutting board. Then you resize the image. So notice I've just gone from left to right. You go to resize the image. They said they wanted the width to be about three inches and you wanna change your DPI to whatever DPI you're using on your laser. In most cases, photo engraving is gonna be about 300, maybe 400. I'm gonna put it as 300 on this. Now, something I already previously had set up was my laser specs. So if you look down here, it says that I have a 60 watt epilogue helix. Um, so it's going to give me the settings I need to engrave this the way it shows in the preview um, without me having to really do anything. So the next thing that I want to do, I like to use interactive mode. That gives me a few little things to tweak here. And then I'm going to turn on split window. The reason I do that, it will show me exactly what the differences are. Once I've processed this, um, and I'm just going to hit the final process now, which is just the next button in my list. It now shows me with its standard settings, and I can zoom in here, it shows me what it's going to look like on hard maple. Now, if I come in here and start tweaking any of these features, it shows me in real time what that's going to do to the end result. And so if I get the spend maybe a minute or so adjusting a couple of things and bringing out the detail that I want, you can then hit the final process button one more time, and that will, that will apply the settings that you've made here. So if I hit final process, it's done now. Um, you can see that the power and speed settings that I want to run on my machine are given to me here. I don't have to guess at that anymore. Um, I've got a nice preview that I could show a customer, hey, this is what your, your artwork should look like, this is what your photo should look like. Um, of course, that's going to be subject to the wood grain and all that. And then all you do is hit save images and you can choose if you want the engraved image, the grayscale simulated or the original. Um, in this case, I want the engraved image. And when you hit OK, that's the file you put into Corel Draw and send, hit go and send to your laser. Um, it's, a, it's pretty simple. It gives you some real nice preview without having to really do anything or any guesswork. Um, so hopefully this helps. Um, give, it a, give it a try. You can contact them and get a demo um, or, or just have someone that has photograve process a picture for you and see how it works using your actual image. Um, all photo engraving, um, whether you're using Corel Draw only or photograve or any other software, all photo engraving is going to be dependent on having good quality images. And if you have a good quality image to start with, you're going to pretty much get some good results um, with this tool or if you take the time and do it in Corel Draw. So, anyway. Um, I'll catch you later. Uh, let me know if this helps you. Um, maybe this helps you make a decision whether to go with, with Photograve or not. Um, but I'd like to hear your, your uh, results.